Hello everybody. What you're looking at is my prototype RGB North Pole that is nearly complete as of tonight. And this concept kind of marries the North Pole concept by Chuck Hutchings along with the RGB Corostar electronics concept um, from David Moore and combines them into one element. And so if you can see on the outside the North Pole looks a lot like Chuck's design. It's based heavily on that. And at the top we have our acrylic globe and some screws holding that on. Actually it's loose right now so I can lift it off in a second. And if I do that this is where we'll start to see some of the differences. Here we have our 50-50 LED modules and I have three of them on here and if I can show this up in here I'm not sure if you can tell what that's, what's going on here but there's a piece of water pipe PVC water pipe and a uh, end cap that has a flat surface on the bottom and I glued the, the end cap onto the PVC and then I glued that to the little Coro holder which on, in Chuck's design holds on the uh, incandescent light socket um, on this one it's holding up the water pipe and then I glue the 50-50s with hot glue onto the water pipe and uh, originally I had glued these on straight up and down and a little bit higher up so they reached um, most of the way up in the globe and uh, once I got the globe on and tried it, um, I wasn't real happy with the the way the light was dispersed in the globe. You could see some lines and uh, on top especially it was darker. So I uh, heated it up with a um, hot air gun, took them back off and glued them on again so it looks a little bit messy now. Um, but they are crooked on purpose. Um, that's something I tried and I think it's working pretty well. Um, that By not putting them straight up and down um, it helps spread the light through the globe a little better than if they're straight, if they're straight up and down then you kind of get a line between each one of them. And I purposely skewed them toward the front so that most everybody is going to see this from the front or from uh, some front angle. Um, the only people who are going to see it from behind are pretty much me and my family. Um, but it, it does, as you'll see in a little bit, it, it does light up the whole globe pretty well even, even with them skewed toward the front. Now this is powered, I don't have an extra one to show you, um, but this is po uh, this is controlled by a DMX controller that's uh, inside the pole. Um, so it's one of the th uh, three channel LED DMX controllers. Uh, you can get through either CheapDMX.com or um, through uh, Ray Wu's store. And that's connected down here to two Cat5 jacks. Now I just, uh, this is temporary here. Um, the final uh, model there's going to be a surface mount jack on here and the, the jacks will point straight down um, to, to keep the weather out and then I'll have some caulking on top to, to seal everything up so the water will shed um, off to the side and then the um, your Cat5 cords will um, plug down below. Um, but for now this serves the electronic purpose of getting it to work and the, the, the two jacks are identical. Um, one will come in from either the, uh, the adapter which I'll show in just a second and then the next one will go out to the next pole. Um, the power injector is right here, and again, this is kind of just the uh, a quick and dirty one to get this working. Um, on the uh, one side here, we have a Cat5 jack, and only the orange and the orange and white wires are connected to the jack. The other ones are twisted together and hooked to my wall ward here, which is another, again, just a temporary thing um, for the real. Um, for the real display, I'll have a, a regulated 12 volt power supply for that. Um, then all the wires connect to this other jack, and what that basically does um, is merge the DMX signal, which comes in from this jack, with power, and provides both power and the DMX signal to the to the North Pole, and then the, you chain them all the way down the line. And you can power about um, 10 of these um, with th uh, with three 5050s, I'm, I'm told, and. Uh, if you're familiar with the RGB colors, um, Coro Stars, rather, um, it's the exact same design. I pretty much stole it directly. And so we'll put our globe back on. And most of you are probably familiar with the DMX setup, but just in case, I have the iDMX sitting over here. That's connected into my laptop. And then we have a XLR 
to RJ45 adapter here and this is the one that I actually built um, this past season for my V drive and V floods and uh, uses the same pin out with the orange and orange and white pair and that will plug um, that will that that will plug into this uh, injector and then this green cat 5 will plug into the other side and then be plugged into the uh, the north pole over there so I'm gonna go ahead and hook this up and I'll be back in just a second okay and we're back and I just wanted to show you one thing right now I have the power hooked up down here um, this wire comes from the wall wart into the wall and notice there is no wire plugged into here yet um, the green cat 5 then goes through this big long wire up into the North Pole um, notice that these DMX modules um, they're designed that if they if they don't get a DMX signal they basically just cycle through all the colors they start with red and then they fade into red and green and then the green and then into green and blue and then back to red and blue and then white and then it fades out and starts over so <clears throat> That's either good or bad, depending on your opinion. Um, you can kind of test them out without any computer. Or you could probably even do some standalone ornaments that just did this color fade and have the option to add DMX on later. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and plug in the DMX. And then I have a real basic... I'm not sure how flickery this is going to be. Um, I have a real basic sequence here that's just going to cycle through the colors. It's going to go red, green, blue, and then red and blue, and so on. And then at the end it's going to do some fades, and, sorry about that, there we go. And then it's going to do a twinkle and a shimmer at the very end. And the, the shimmer is um, going to be kind of a real fast strobe, and then the twinkle just twinkles all sorts of different colors. And I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, on the tripod, and dim down the lights, and show you. Okay, we're back, and I'm going to go ahead and start the sequence. And I'm really not sure how this is going to look on camera. The colors are really very vibrant and very bright. Um, I had to put the camera in fireworks mode and actually leave some room lights on here just to try to capture that. And now it's going to do some fading. And that's the yellow or twinkle effect. And the strobe, actually the shimmer. And then we're back. So, hopefully that gives you a, an idea of uh, an RGB North Pole. Let me know if you have any questions.